Grab one good, no man. Good. Hold on. Hold on, Kupi. Just imagine if that was my hand. Welcome back to another episode of Do It Prove It. Here on the channel, we're gonna do a little bit of hunting later on. By now, you guys should know that we are really big here on traditional stuff here on the channel. So I'm pretty much gonna do some traditional hunt today. So right now, we're gonna cut the bamboo to make a, a spear. But the older folks normally call it a jeg. So we're gonna make a jeg for the older folks. You know, the traditional folks in St. Vincent, we're gonna make a jeg. So right now, I'm just gonna get my long sleeve on because we're gonna head down into this bamboo field and we're gonna cut a bamboo. So before I do that, I just wanna say huge shout out to all of our subscribers, every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel. You guys have been sending us so much love that it is just unbelievable. But I still wanna say thanks and we, we truly, we truly appreciate it. So with all of that said, I'm just gonna head down, I'm gonna cut the bamboo and I'm gonna get organized to make the jag and all of that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it step by step. So just stick around, let me get my shirt on first. Pretty much we're just gonna head down into the bamboo field. Uh, I spotted a, a nice bamboo a little bit earlier. Nice bamboo, we're gonna cut that. Make a nice, a nice jag. And yes, every time I say jag, I actually mean a spear but <laughs> we're just gonna go with the word jeg because that's what our ancestors call it so i'm just gonna stick to that so to everyone from st vincent you know by the time i say jeg you know what i'm talking about okay got that <laughs> This came from out of a, a oven for a stove. So this is pretty much gonna be shank onto this or wrap to that with bicycle rubber. And like I said, you guys know we are pretty big here on tradition on the channel. We like to do traditional stuff. So I think this is this is a great opportunity to show you guys what hunting used to be like for me when I was like a little bit younger before I was using the air rifles and and so on. So let's just let's just get straight to it. <sighs> Got my rock. All right, and you pretty much need to protect yourself. Put on some eyewear or something. And you're just gonna whack it until it's pretty much flat. Okay, and normally what I like to do, I like to give an end a little bit more crooked. That way when we're making the, the barb, it's gonna hold better. Okay, now that I pretty much got it to what I want, I'm gonna take a five. That is pretty much all, all that you're gonna be doing. So you want to give it a nice smooth area that way when it pierces the manacle or the possum it's gonna go clean through without no jagged edges yeah that's what you're looking for clean cuts the next step is pretty much to locate the area that you're gonna put your gaff or barb sorry put your barb so i'm gonna put mine like right across here so and the, the file itself, it can do everything, right? And you're gonna use the edge of the file and you're just gonna cut it. Once you're true, on one side, you flip to the other side. You're almost there. So you're just gonna use the file and file down this area a little bit. File it down. Now you can see it, it's a bit more pronounced, right? And that's what you're looking for. A little gill. We normally call it a gill, but I think it's a it's a barb. Kind of like a fish hook. Just without the, the curve. 
and what you're going to do now is pretty much grab this at an angle and you're going to kind of score it then you're going to really work it right so the file is doing most of the cutting and when you get it at a certain a certain depth you can just this is not there as yet because it's it's bending the entire the entire steel so maybe turn it to the other side let's go that side as well pretty much line it up and just work your way I think we might get it to break. Think. Let's just try and see. I have another trick off my sleeve. You can actually put it back on the and whack it. Right? And it's gonna break. Okay? So you can see we got it. But you're gonna have to give this just a little bit of just to get it back to shape and we're gonna we're gonna file this a little bit more and that's it it's getting sharper and sharper and sharper that's what you're looking for so it's just a spear like i said but the older folks call it a jig, right? So, sharpen here, here, and here. That's pretty sharp, right? This is just the old bike, bike tube from my bike. So, it's pretty much, let's cut it. And then you're gonna split it. And it's the matter of just tearing. You're just gonna take the rubber and wrap it around. So I'm gonna do this from here all the way to the top. And that is pretty much it. Close to the top, you're gonna wrap here just a little bit thick. So it's gonna get less movements. So yep. Just give here a little bit more support than all the rest. Because we don't need it to move as much. And I'm just gonna take this remaining rubber and I'm gonna wrap it all the way, pretty much back down until we have nothing left. It doesn't have to be perfectly wrapped but it is nice to wrap it firmly so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put my thumb pinch it and i'm gonna take this end and we're gonna feed it back under all right okay so now that we got that it is gonna set it to where you feel comfortable and that's pretty much it it's finished right pretty much what you're gonna do is just spot with your light and instead of using a gun you're just going to use a spear you're going to line it up whether to the to the head to the chest or to the neck and you just and that's just about it you got yourself a possum so pretty much when it's dark we're going to be heading out so i'll catch you guys then so it's just scoop and night tonight and right now we're trying to see if we can pretty much spot Possum, I got the, the spear ready. I don't know how well it's gonna go, but hopefully, hopefully, you guys are seeing properly. So, to all of our subscribers, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel. All the love and support that you guys have been sending us, we truly appreciate it. So it's just a matter of spotting a possum tonight. I don't want to get too much maybe maybe one or two just to show you guys how the method how the method works and that's just about it 
Coop is pretty much going to be the guy who is doing all of the spotting. I might be lucky to spot something with this light. This is like pretty dangerous to hunt with, but if you know how to use it properly, then I mean, yeah, accidents do happen, but we're trying our best not to make a boo-boo tonight. So far, we haven't spotted anything. But we're still gonna go ahead. And I really hope you guys were seen properly. Because <laughs> it's an epic, epic night. I wish the other guys were here. It would have been so, so much better. It would have been a longer hunt. This is like the best part of hunting. It's when you're pretty much just walking around trying to spot one. The suspense is just <sighs> thrilling. So, Coop is gonna do his thing. Coop, I want the punch look one punch today. Look one day. Right out there. A nice one too. Huh? Go over there. Over there? Yeah. You might go over any primary see but just go over this thing. So I spot the first possum. We're gonna try and get it with the spear. You going in the primary tree. You going over in the primary tree. You're going down. But you going in the coconut? May I come? So Cooper spot it. Let's see if we can get up. That's the worst thing about hunting with the jag. You gotta pretty much Try not to hook on to anything. The over here? Might have to climb up in the chair a little bit. Just my land, you know. Where you come at, dong? Towards the chair? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Uh, this light, uh, I don't have a head strap. Everything is in my hand, so. I'm gonna have to make a climb on this tree. Yeah, come back in. So, um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have to put you guys out just for a little while, maybe upside down. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna have to make the climb. Yes, sir. No, I'm not sure I'm okay. I'm reach up and go tell me. <sighs> so, guys, got my spear. I'm gonna have to set it in a good, a good position before I'm up. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't fall. Okay, that's the spear. I haven't seen the possum. He was like right there. Right there. Huh? Nothing? Alright. Alright, let me see what I'm going to tell you. Let's start there and look around still. Check your coconut there just in case. Is it the coconut? Alright. Move wrong and see if I can see on any branch. No, no. Probably. Okay guys, it so happened that we didn't caught the one in this tree, but Coop spot another one up here. So we're gonna try and see if we can get it. <sighs> that was a big climb. Up in there? there? Alright, now come. Where you wanna go? 
Na akkor. E? Itt él alul. Ne vizsgéd. Ehe, ehe, lup mit be? Nice beast boy. Oh yeah, boy. Right you hand. Mm-hmm. Aram, no? Yeah. Right, Aram? Like mm -hmm. a woman. Woman? Mm-hmm. Aram, 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 Aram. That's it. You can see. Just imagine if that was my hand. So got him right to the arm, which is a really nice catch. And I'm grateful for that. Hold on, I tie it I jig down and hold it here. Make it bite you, no? <laughs> Look, Mr. Lassie, one in the corner there. Yeah, you know? uh -huh. Got a nice meal. Thanks to Coop. Coop spot this one. So, as you can see, the jig is working pretty good. Like I told you, it's just a matter of getting it in the arm, in the chest, or maybe in the neck area. And that's just about it. So, we're gonna spot around. See if we can spot a few more. It would, it would really be nice to get that one in that coconut tree but it's a long way off so we're just gonna let it be it did give me a workout earlier but hey it is what it is let's just get this one off and we're gonna continue the hunt so yeah it's like kitchen honey why i'm not gonna come out yeah what i'm about to do is pretty much humane I'm just gonna hit him one to the head and pretty much send him lullaby and I'll be back after after that pretty much got him all lullaby it's just a matter of getting it off so I'm still gonna hold him by the neck because I don't think I'm really trying to get the spear back through and that's just about it so we got the the first possum a nice meal a nice meal you can tell by the <laughs> it's a meal so we're gonna bag it and we're just gonna continue the hunt so I really hope you guys have been enjoying the hunt so far because we have as you can see I worked up a sweat there's a really nice one in that coconut tree but we're not gonna bother with it so let's just bag this and head out Grab one good no man. Good. Hold on. Hold on, Koopy. Hold on to eh? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Where are you? If you say. You can't pick him up as you go scrub you. Hold it light, hold it light. You hold it light. Me go pick him up. Me go pick him up. Hold on. Just hold on. 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 <laughs> wow! You think I changed the mm -hmm. Guys, who caught this armadillo with his bare hands? It is a boy. 
<laughs> so we're gonna dispatch it pretty much just remove the head and the guts we're gonna do that off camera I know you guys probably want to see it but it's gonna be too graphic for us to show that but we did got a possum and we caught this armadillo so we're gonna do that right now hopefully you guys enjoyed tonight's hunt I know you guys want to see us cook this up we're gonna cook it up it's gonna be amazing so like I said all you got to do is subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell that way when we put out the video you're gonna see everything so we're gonna cut this head off right now I'll see you guys when we're finished we got the head off the head we're gonna remove the the rank that gives it the the nasty the nasty smell so you can see uh, it's a little bit graphic but hey that's one and we're gonna remove the other one right here if you look closely you can see it okay and that's two right and maybe check for the little the little itty bitty pieces as well right that's just the skin I might have to <laughs> I might have to check properly tomorrow to see if I got everything removed but as for now as for now we're just gonna remove these ones and then we're gonna remove the stomach and by tomorrow we can get to do the final the final touches so I'm just gonna split it it's gonna be a little bit graphic but hey So we got it to pretty much what we want. Tomorrow we're gonna remove all these belly area and we're gonna throw it on the grill to give it a little. You guys are gonna have to come back to see us cook this up. So the hunt is over. We're gonna head home. I wanna thank you guys so much for being a part of the channel. Thanks for all the love, all the support you have been sending us on Instagram, on TikTok, and right here on youtube so if you're new here welcome to the channel we do stuff like this all the time so if you're not yet subscribed hit that subscribe button hit that notification button and that way you can see when we cook up this nice armor dillo until then i'll catch you guys in another episode of do it prove it